Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. There are a few of us out there who live in households with more than one person. And when that happens, you have to think of things differently than you do when you're on your own. And when it comes to account information, uh, storing that information and accessing that information is something that, well, became a concern as we started to collect more and more accounts, like uh, online accounts for paying bills, for shopping on the web. Uh, Ponzi and I were sharing a spreadsheet back and forth, and when we had to update a password, one person had one version, another person had another version. It was just an inelegant solution. So I went around looking for a good solution, a secure solution, a website that we could use, that we could access from any computer anywhere in the world, as long as we had authenticated information. Uh, and that way we wouldn't have to worry about managing different files. We could manage all our information through one account on the web. And the best software, best service that I found, nothing to install software, it's web software, the best kind of software out there, passpack.com. Here, let me type it in the chat room so you can all see it. Passpack. Dot com, nice and simple. Uh, you can get an account for free. They say that it, once you set up your account for free, it'll be free indefinitely. Uh, is it secure? It's very secure. It uses AES encryption, so it's basically a U.S. government algorithm. Very, very strong stuff. And the idea behind that is, is when you store information on a server, if it's not encrypted, then if someone hacks that server, they can get access to your information. So you want it to be encrypted, not just locally, but on the other end too. That's something to look for, especially if you're storing a lot of sensitive information. Usernames, passwords, uh, you know, maybe frequent flyer miles, you know, these these numbers that we associate with our life, keeping them as secure as possible. Again, I, I would use this even if I was on my own, just because I found Passpack to be very, very secure. There's like three levels of security. You got a username and password, then you have to click a, a, a certain box they tell they say click the black box and there's only one box and you have to choose it so that's basically saying you're human uh, and then the third level is the unpacking password so even if you get past those two levels that third level you know decreases the chances of anybody ever getting into it by a factor of, well, I'm sure they've got the exact mathematical equation on their website but certainly it's virtually I would say unhackable uh, it, it, but again, you know, I'm only relying on, on their service to store my information. It's certainly a lot more secure than storing it in a, a local text file with no password on it at all. And it's certainly easier to manage than passing simple documents back and forth. Um, so this is what I would recommend for storing passwords more than any kind of browser toolbar, more than any kind of local software. Because again, you can network it. I can access this server uh, anywhere that I have a, a web connection. There we go. Uh, who can read my passwords? No one except you. So that means the admins can't even see the passwords. Uh, it, let's see here. Is it just for passwords? No. What about phishing? It has a defined unique anti-phishing technique. That's the black box thing. Can you try it first? Sure. Pass pack. Sign up is free. And the service is free. So there you go. Uh, that's my recommendation for storing passwords, in, especially if you're in, in a house or a place where more than one person has to access the same account.